Could you benefit from spring cleaning your life and your mind? Spring is such a, a wonderful time in nature for, for awakening, for, for growth, for, for change and transformation. So in this episode, I'm going to share with you five ways that you can help yourself to spring clean and declutter your mindset, your thinking and your life. Number one is to have almost like a self audit, have a, a conversation, have a check in with yourself and ask yourself, are your thoughts, are your actions, is your current mindset helping you, working with you? Is it moving you in the direction that you want to be going or in an opposite direction? You know, ask yourself, is there anything that you need to stop doing? Is there anything you need to start doing to make the changes to achieve the, the life and the goals that you want? So the first step to do anything is always to stop, to pause, to have a check in and see where you currently are and see what direction you are moving in. So number one, have a self audit and ask yourself where you currently are. Number two is come to your senses. Unplug from the busyness of life, from media, from technology, from, from negativity and come to your senses. And that can be meant in a couple of different ways. It could be just being aware of your current position, your current status in your life, where you're heading, what you're doing. Is your mind and your thoughts working for you or, or against you? But also it could be in the physical sense of actually stopping to get out of your own head and the busyness of your current thinking and tune into your senses. You know, notice things around you, what you can see, what you can hear, what you can feel. And you can do that right here, right now. You can go for a walk and really connect to nature and utilise your senses to tune into those things. You can do it in your own thoughts and, and just kind of have a bit of a daydream and, and think about a pleasant scene or a time that's pleasing and appealing for you. And just tune into what it is about that scene that feels so wonderful for you. Look around and explore it in your own mind and just have that reset by coming to your senses. You can do that in more formal ways as well. You can listen to a meditation, a, a, a kind of one of my self-hypnosis audios, or you could practice some mindfulness breathing. Just something that gets you out of your own head and allows you to be present in the moment is helping you to come to your senses and have that mindset reset, which allows you to spring clean and clear your thoughts of whatever is going on in your life right now. It's almost like a way of helping you to reboot and recharge mentally, physically and emotionally by coming to your senses. Number three is have a clear out of your clutter, both in your physical space, tidy up, have a, have a physical spring clean, but also spring clean and, and clear out any unfinished, incomplete tasks or jobs that you have hanging over you because you'd be amazed how much of a negative drain, how much uh, of a, an impact it has on your headspace when your environment's untidy, when your environment's messy, but also when you have those incomplete, unfinished tasks hanging over you. So start off by having a tidy, and that can be just the physical space in your immediate proximity. It could be clearing out your wardrobe, it could be giving things away to charity, it could be clearing your car, your handbag, your wallet. Just tidy your physical space and have a clear out. But also look at any tasks or jobs that may be hanging around that you can get done. Make a list of them and just start working your way through them and notice what a positive difference it has as it clears some space in your mind where you can focus your attention and your energy towards more important, more kind of enjoyable things when you've created some space by getting rid of that kind of clutter hanging around you now. Number four is to shift your focus. One of the best ways to help yourself to have a, a kind of a, a mind spring clean is to shift your focus. Be aware of your focus, first of all. Are you focused towards the things that you don't want? Are you focused towards negative things? Or are you paying attention to the good things, to the things you do want? Are you focused towards nurturing and, and kind of encouraging and empowering yourself and your thoughts and your mindset? If not, stop. Move your focus away from the things that you don't want in your life, the things that you're not happy with, the things that you don't enjoy, and spend some time every day focusing your thoughts, your attention towards the things that you do. Stop and reflect every day. 
on something that's encouraging, empowering and uplifting to you and your mindset. So shift your focus and pay more attention to the things that you do want rather than the things that you don't want. Number five is clean up your language. Mind your language. Your language has such a direct impact on your mindset. So spring clean, clean up, clear out the negativity from your inner dialogue, your self-talk, your internal chatter. Be aware of what your current quality of language is and shift it. Shift it towards things that are more supportive and encouraging. Remember, your mind is always listening. So it's not just the spoken word out loud, but it's also the spoken word that we entertain and allow in our mind. So if your language, if the questions you use aren't supportive and encouraging, then change it. You know, I often say to my clients, if you spoke to a loved one the way you speak to yourself in your own head, would that be acceptable? And the answer is usually no. We wouldn't dream of speaking to people the way we speak to ourselves. So stop. Stop talking to yourself that way and start being more supportive, more empowering and more encouraging with the language and the internal chat that you have with yourself. But also ask yourself better quality questions. You know, the questions we ask ourselves direct us either towards or away from the things that we want. So, for example, you know, if you worry and have anxiety, do you wake up in the morning and, and, and focus and, and think about what could go wrong that day? Or do you wake up and ask yourself or tell yourself, you know, today is going to be a good day. And I, and I know that might sound kind of trivial or too easy to be uh, making a, an impact. But just try it. Try changing the quality of some of the questions you ask yourself and notice what a difference that could make for you. So clean up and change your language now. So there you go. You now have five ways to help you to spring clean and unclutter your mindset, your thoughts, your feelings and your focus. Get in touch, drop me a message, leave a comment and let me know what you're going to take away from this episode and how you're going to help yourself have that spring clean to help you to improve your mindset and your life. Remember, it is um, a good time to do in the spring, but you can do that at any time during the year. So every now and again, have that self check in, have a word with yourself and check back in and utilise these five ways to help you to spring clean your mind and keep yourself focused in the direction that you would like to go. Remember what your mind believes you will achieve. So allow yourself to think differently, to be, to believe in yourself, to take action so you can achieve the life and the goals that you want. Go on, you can do it.